Hello, this is Vulturefire, and today's video is another video on beta patch 6102. Uh, we are going to be today playing Drofus because I haven't recorded any Drofus runs on this patch. Uh, this is going to be a pretty straightforward, just normal-ish Drofus run, uh, but I did want to highlight a lot of the changes that have happened um, on this patch. I'm going to probably rework this deck slightly to account for them. So the most important thing is that um, in general, Drofus's decks are going to be using more health than they were before because Blood Strike now costs five health instead of three and Blood Blast now costs six health instead of, um, it may have always been six, but it used to be a bad card so you didn't play it. Uh, so you have Mend at 12 health now, at heal 12 now it used to be, or it's not that it's heal 12, it's that it's at two mana, which means that you can more cons more easily play it. Sanguine Melody is at heal, is zero mana to play, and is heal eight, but I don't think you can play it consistently enough. Or sorry, I don't think that, that heal eight is enough with how much health you're losing. And I have considered that it's possible that I want to change even this list that I've got, because even, even just this list as it stands is losing too much health, because each loop through the deck, theoretically, we're losing up to six, 18... Uh, 22, we're losing up to 32 health and we only have 24 healing, which means that we probably need a little bit less of that. Out of curiosity, I think we're using basically all the relevant Drofus cards. Yeah. Um, so the question becomes, if we swap out one of our cards, I think it's probably... The Blood Blasts are theoretically great, but I have, have had problems uh, paying off the bleed so I may cut that, one of those. And then I'm considering getting a tough source so that if I don't win on turn one, we can still be in okay shape. And I think combat ready is a pretty good choice for that. Although that is very, very temper. It, it, it is only one turn. The other option is frozen hide. We go with frozen hide. So for the rest of the card pool, um, as usual, I'm just kind of throwing everything out and then starting again from scratch because that's just kind of what I do. Um, I still don't like this one. Blood Tide is now mana based on how many Blood Burst are in your hand, which I don't think is reliable enough. Tainted Blood is very good just because you lose two extra health, which means that you get two um, whatevers. Vampiric Needle is cheap for a lot of healing. Fact of Blood is always good. Vitalizing Surge is good. Essence Harvest is funny. Um, more Life Taps tend to be good. I don't think we want more of any of the other Drophus cards. We need the Drophus Commons. Um, I think we do want... Let's see, Mana Eruption. We are, we are unlikely to have enough growth to justify Mana Eruption, I think. Increasing Mana seems fine. Renewing Ray actually seems fine. Uh, Sprite Vigor seems okay. Blood Visions is generally pretty funny on Drophus. Demonic Power is usually good on Drophus. Um, peace of Mind is healing, but not necessarily what we're looking for. Vampiric Strike is worse than it was, um, I think. No, I guess it's not. Well, no, because it used to do, what, like 3x3 if the target was bleeding? It's a lot less than that. Uh, but it is still, you know, 4x2 of healing, which isn't bad. But I think we just go with Arcane Silence and Sanctity because having access to those is always good. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and grab these two. I think if there's any other... That's not actually what we're looking for. We're looking for healing, but those are still fine. I don't know what other healing we might want. It's possible that we... Because I feel like we probably want at least one more healing option because just this deck can go through just such a monstrous amount of health. I think one restorative shield seems fine. And then I really like Contemplate and Pact of Insight and Brainstorm just in general. And then aside from that, I think we want stone skin because I think that's just solid. I think we want war cry. I could, I would take a hobble. I think we need a bunch of mana cards. And probably the mana cards are going to be the rest of what we put in. Uh, Precarious draw is good. Mind seed is questionable a little bit. Mana Ritual is good. 
Growing focus is good. Surprise attack is good. That's not a man card, but it is very good. I just go with mind seed. The reason I don't might say, say mind seed is questionable is that we probably are trying to close out fights fast enough that we can't get a real value out of the growth. But I think it will probably all work out fine. Um, I could, would kind of like Power Surge. Do I like it more than Mind Seed? I don't know that I do. I think we're fine as it is. So Vindictive Aura is in the market, which I, I actually decided decided to do a Dwarfus run before I saw that, but obviously very happy to see that. Um, why not? We'll just buy everything. I have some extra gold. Okay. So we get the Vindictive Aura. I have to remove my cat from my desk so that I can see my screen. Okay. Um, I really like Runic Focus. Permanent Powerful is okay. And then, so we don't have Forest Guardian. We can go through this route, I think, which will get us um, access to two events at least. This route gets us three events and one elite. I don't know that I care about any of these cards, but two elites, I would trade an, an event for an elite because I think uh, Relentless Assault is fine. Oh, I should have, I did this in the wrong order. It has been a little bit since I played Drophus, so my brain is not all there. All right, just, I shouldn't have bothered doing that. You know, got one mana out of it, but. Let's do that. There we go. Just going clunk, clunk, clunk. Life tap is still good. And this is the part where we burn through all of our health. Okay, we didn't actually, we actually only net lost two there. Um, do we want an Arcane Aegis? No, let me just take Predator's Focus. Um, we really don't want the Ring of Lethality to matter. Magic Plate is okay. We are taking a lot of hits, potentially. Okay, let's make them bleed before we start doing any real damage. There we go. Yeah, just sort of slowly hemorrhaging health, because just the nature of how this works. We'll take a restorative shield, because we need at least one more heal card, I think. Um, of these, I think... I think re Refresh is the one of these I would take. Yeah, so far, we've been able to rack up turn one kills, because... Um, this is just a fairly aggressive character. Um... Oh uh, yeah, refresh seems okay. Okay. Get our health back. Oh, the other thing is that like we are getting so much value out of Vindictive right in terms of uh, health maintenance. We do kind of need some card draw in order to balance everything else out. Thank you. We will take those. And that should guarantee us the win. Especially with that. Yeah, Vindictive Ord just kind of fueling whatever we need to do. Pact of Blood is good. This... It's unlikely to pay off, but like it's it, it offers so many high rolls that like I'm not gonna pass it up. This is very risky. I don't think I like it enough. I think I like Ritual Blood Plus. I think card draw is the main thing that we need right now. Do we need the Restorative Shield? Probably. Do we need the Frozen Hide though? Also probably. We're a little high on mana now, but Drovus has the ability to just very quickly use all the mana 
the instant um, you get basically any card draw. So I'm not too worried on that front. Now we're hoping that we draw uh, this, which we did. Um. Oh, we have to play that, of course. There we go. Uh, Lilith Assault seems fine. Kind of just want the hobble, though. Just makes some things safer. Oh man, making me choose between these two. Uh, spyglass, I think, because that makes the that makes the copy free, and I would love to have free uh, extra pact of bloods. All right. Nope. I have to do this. No, no, no real luck on the events, unfortunately. Let's do that. At that point, um, if I draw, basically, if I draw any, um, if I do any self damage this turn, we just immediately kill both of the back ones. So, like, drawing a life tap is now a win condition. Um, let's go back. Yeah, those back ones. There we go. Um, corrupted blast or war cry. We picked up the hobble. Are we fighting? No. Okay, so we're not fighting. The annoying one that does the um, Munchroom. I do like being able to set it vulnerable on our targets. And I really like access to Blood Charm. Although there's a very strong argument to be made there that we just should have taken um, Mindbot. Because it lets us play even more aggressively. Uh, no point in healing, I think. So this is the turn where we start, where this one will make us bleed. But. Here's the fun thing. Reflect. Okay. Uh, we still haven't yet actually played our Pact of Blood. But, I mean, it's pretty good. We just have to actually find it at a point where we can play it. Uh, we don't want that. This seems better than starting plated, I think. Yeah, this upgrade, making this free, is actually very good. Just because just it is. Okay. So we're fighting... Emerald, which we could, we're probably going to take a lot of damage in that fight. That's just likely to be what happens. Um, I like going through two events here. I would be perfectly fine picking up a Mystic Ritual, and I don't hate Gathering Bolt when we have um, Tormenting Gloves. this better. Let's go do that. And now we get our f first extra turn, which yeah, we were kind of hoping to be able to use on just healing mostly, because that kill was basically assured. Yep, Mystic Ritual gives us some of that card draw I was looking for. Let's go through event. All right, we'll take an upgrade. Um, are we not ever drawn or upgrade Ritual of Blood, or am I just... Yeah, okay, we do have an upgraded one. I don't know if we just haven't drawn it or if I just haven't been paying attention. That's one of the things about, like, we're, we're winning 
really quickly and without seeing our whole deck most of the time. So there's just a lot of cards where it's like, we have that, right? Okay, so Sanguine Grimoire is very good and also messes with me because it um, it reduces our max hand size. So it is now time. We, we now have to, to learn to count to uh, eight instead of counting to um, 10. And I am bad at counting. That's just kind of a thing. And then it makes sense to double spyglass this. So I think we should be able to just win. Or at least get very close. <laughs> we, we don't even have to we just activate that unbelievable kill without us even needing to um, to get close to accomplishing things. Corn focus is fine. Our mana ratio is still a little bit wonky, but we can roll with it. Absolutely, we will double that. Stack more turns, why not? And yeah, we stack bleed every time we do anything, which is pretty good. We don't have like three turns queued in a row. Oh, right. The bleed wears off when this thing gets a turn. Of course. Which means that this bleed will just keep stacking as we keep taking more turns. Which uh, is pretty good for us and pretty bad for this guy. Here we go. Demonic power is not bad. Blood visions is pretty good. We don't actually have really spells to draw, but that's fine because that's not the point. The point is that we are then bleeding. That's very good for us. I think we upgrade the other uh, pact of blood because I think being able to play those is very, very good. Unfortunately, we can no longer get duplatome. Uh, we may not need the resto shield. It's a bit risky to cut that, but it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I don't really want to deal with Drakes if I don't have to deal with Drakes. And we don't have to deal with Drakes, so I'm not going to deal with Drakes. All right. Okay. Um, just looking at how we get enough space in hand. And the answer is we don't. But we can take some extra turns. Oh no! I forgot. I didn't account for. Again, I am very bad at counting to um, the appropriate number here. Probably just win here though. Because we are cheating pretty hard. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Just cheating. And we don't really need any of that, so we'll discard it. Go to the event. Um hmm. I kinda like well, but what would I cut for that trinket? And the answer is I don't think anything. So we're just going to wait and scavenge. So now I really would like to have... Actually, that's not bad either. Um, because we do have... That one thing. Okay, let me think. I'm pretty sure that this will... Because this generates two cards as well, which is where it had messed up my mental 
math and I thought I had space and I didn't. So we now have a bunch of turns queued up. And they're all bleeding. Um, I think we hope that we find mana. It's not as much mana as we would like, but it is mana. This is what I meant when I said earlier, like, it feels like we've got a lot of mana, but, um, Droves can just use as much mana as she can get, basically. This is what I was talking about. Okay. Take some more damage. And get to go. Okay, so we're now down a little bit of health. Gleaming Aegis is very good, but we probably just need Runic Focus. That isn't, that's obviously worse than what we got. And now we play how much damage are we going to take here? Because the answer is going to be more than zero. We're, I, there's a chance we could get this turn one kill here, but I doubt it. And if we don't get this turn one kill here, we end up taking a lot of damage here. Or, I mean, it's, it won't be turn one, but you know what I mean, like... shocked which I mean we're shocked but we're not shocked that we're shocked we expect it to be shocked it's not a shocking outcome that we are shocked okay we do get a bunch of turns though and we did very good on that turn better than I was kind of expecting so I think we're probably in good shape especially because we got all that bleed out yeah we're probably just gonna actually get this turn one kill and I was being a warrior wart for no reason because we have two more turns to play, like, basically any cards. Yeah, there we go. I underestimated how nonsense what we were up to is. This card has, has fallen so far. I think Renewing Ray is fine for us. Um, Demonic Power is also fine. Um, this is probably not fine. But it's probably better than the permanent powerful because I just really like having access to card draw trinkets. That upgrade is very good. We probably need to cut something. And I think that something may just be um, one of the... I think the Frozen High is actually not doing anything for us at this point because we are just pretty uh, determined to try and just win turn one or in a series of turns. So we want to avoid... Um, prowlers. Because prowlers would ruin our day. Looks like we have a clean path. If this is CPU, this deck is not particularly resilient to CPU. But it'll be fine. Okay, so turn to gunk is fine. And Hunter's Focus is great. So this is the route. Why, that's, that is why that is the route we are going. Okay, we can actually pitch all of these to draw cards, which seems good. So we at present do not have um, any frenzy, which is obviously kind of our goal. re-roll this. I don't think that's the most useful thing for us to re-roll for. And I think Contemplate's fine. I think we are way too late for Essence Harvest to do value. Um, 
Yes, we have space for this. However, we do not have space for this until we do that. We're going to get so many treasures here. down one to go and we can actually heal them to that turn to gunk is pretty good I think that lets us replace a mend potentially um, that upgrade is fine I think if there are any other upgrades that are better. I think I just would like that upgrade. Just gives us that definitely lets us replace the mend. Uh, yeah, we don't care about any of that. Yeah, we got very lucky on just like a complete no prowler map. I should do that first to get the blade out. This. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's very important that we don't actually blow ourselves up here. Um, which fortunately looks like it's not even going to be a concern. Now we have extra turns. Dig through muck or predator hunter's focus better? That's the question. I think this fight's a little bit easier to navigate. Well, maybe. We could just get buried under treasures. In fact, that's probably what's going to end up happening. So we don't have extra turns set up yet, so that's important. We're going to have to see if we can find some of those before we get done for the turn. However, we do still have, as I said, these treasures to work with. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Let me think. I think we dice all of those. Okay, there's a pact of blood, but we need to make space in hand for it, which we do have now. So we knew this. Our pact of blood copy. There we go. Ah. Very rude of them to keep filling our hand with this stuff we can't afford. We can cut the hobble probably. Basically the same way we can cut everything else. Looks like we are just winning. Okay. And we're even maintaining full health. Precarious draw, love to see it. Uh, this is normally great, but I don't think I like it more than what we have. Sure, whatever. That's, I think, a little bit better than discard. Um, I would love... I don't really want to discard a bunch of mana here. The other thing here is like... This is a turn that we could afford to pass. We haven't invested any resources in this turn, and we don't care what they're doing here. Because I don't think, even though that will hit us on our frenzy turns, if we end up taking a bunch of frenzy turns, I don't think that matters. 
I think this is probably more valuable overall anyway. Bleeding. But Dropus gets so much value out of bleed, so it's fine. There we go. Yeah, so we, we passed turn one and we just didn't care. Uh, I was kind of like another pact of blood, actually. Uh, gamble is more risky than it looks because we are part of our backup plan is just to take a bunch of turns. I don't hate just re-rolling here. Yeah, I like Renewing Ray, actually, since we do have this vis Blood Visions. And I like the idea of upgrading um, one of our mana cards. I like upgrading Runic Focus, that's just a bunch of extra mana. And then I like cutting um, the Hobble. Hobble's usefulness is contingent upon us letting things get turns, which so far um, our plan has hinged on not letting things get turns. So. I think we can afford to cut one of the men's. Even if we end up like bleeding health out badly for the rest of the, the run, we don't. We have so much extra health it doesn't matter. These guys have a bunch of evasion, and that's a pain in the butt. So I'm just not going to bother. These guys can also evade, but they have much less health. So who cares? You're actually in a slightly awkward position as far as this is concerned. Because, um... We don't have a good way to get to zero. Okay. And this is going to throw us off again. How manifestly unfortunate. And we can't get down to bleed range. There we go. Now we're bleeding at least. Evasion was a pain in the butt, but they were soft enough that we were able to kill them with just the uh, whatever. Hubble does draw a card, which is better than nothing, I think. Uh, this is a little bit of extra strike damage, which is better than oh, the other option. Um. Right, so this is an example of a turn where we don't want to let them... We do not actually want them to get a turn even though um, you know, we're doing really good on drawing those uh, those things early and then we just have not had any luck with that for the last several fights okay. let's see All right, we're bleeding. We can never get our hands down at this point. Um. Okay, but we killed uh, two of them, so. And there's that, finally. Don't even need to copy it. Yeah, we would have loved to have found like a third pact of blood. We didn't, and it ended up being fine though. So. Um, always very happy to have um, a run kind of go this smoothly. And then we just, yeah. 
And it's turn. Take another turn. All right, and there's our next turn on deck. Now, you may be wondering why did I not just do that? Because that was absolutely the, the the correct play. And the answer is, you're not my supervisor. I don't answer to you. Bonk, 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 bonk. Tainted blood is just... Actually, I like the fact of insight. Okay. I think the blood blast is not amazing when we have Sanguine Grimoire. Um, temporary buff, sure. Kind of hoping to find um, Mighty, but... Uh, hobble is not amazing. Especially because like, we're never getting through all the, the, the debuff. Oh no, we, we're going to because we're going to make... The bleed will. Um, I think the mind seed is our lowest value mana card. That's very good. That's way better than that. And we could give we we could technically be given up the vindictive aura because like we don't care if we bleed out over the course of this fight. That's better than that. We didn't end up finding any use for the tormenting gloves. Although actually, hmm, that could be a problem. I may regret having that. Because what it can do is it can mess up, with the Vindictive Aura, it can mess up our um, our ability to loop the way we want to. Uh, we absolutely don't need the Mend, though. Like, I, I, I mentioned, like, we may be bleeding out health slightly, but we don't care. And so here we go. All right. Um, we've got the most important thing. Yeah, there's always time where, like, we are going up on health. And it is causing problems. Right, we're actually about to get value out of renewing right though, so, yeah, that's something. And yeah, just, just the sheer amount of damage, the, the, the sheer amount of value that we're getting out of um, So we happen to know what the top cards of our deck are. And we would love to have them. Because these triples are going to be great. Sure, we can set up another turn. Why not? Sure, we can heal back some of that damage. Why not? And we just win. Easy. So I think that was a... We only used one of our three Frenzy turns there. That was just an incredibly successful, very straightforward run. Sanguine Grimoire in Drophus is not fair. That was basically what that run was, was abusing the combination, especially of Sanguine Grimoire and Frenzy. Um, and aside from that, it was just like Drophus doing Drophus things. But yeah, I am happy with how that run turned out. So... It was incredibly short. I will see you guys next time. Until then, toodles.